Let's take a look at how to match Corel Painter's perspective guides to the perspective in a scene. First, you will need to identify the perspective points in the scene. You may be familiar with one point standard horizon if you've ever driven down a road. The road converges at the vanishing point, which is in the center. The trees are larger and farther apart in the foreground and smaller and closer together in the background. Here's an example of some of my artwork that utilizes a one point perspective. Two point general composition works great for drawing architecture and interiors. It's much more dynamic than one point. This is probably the most common perspective you will be using. Three point top down view adds a third vanishing point far below the horizon line. This is the kind of perspective you'd see if you were atop a tall building looking down at the city below. The other two vanishing points are on either side, similar to the two point perspective. I'm using the default position of the vanishing points, but you'd probably want to move the points out farther to reduce the perspective distortion that you see near the edges of the canvas. Here's another example of three point top down, showing what you can accomplish using three or more vanishing points in a painting. Three point worm's eye view is the opposite of the top down view. Now you're a worm looking up at a child's building blocks. Painter's perspective presets are a bit too distorted for my liking, so you may want to separate the vanishing points a bit if you'll be working for these. If you'd like to use more than three vanishing points in your painting, you can create a custom preset for each of the perspectives and then toggle between them. I'll zoom out, select the perspective guides tool, and let's match the guides to the perspective in a scene. Each of the primary guides have rotation handles, which allow you to rotate the guide on the center square's axis. This will move the position of the vanishing points, so you probably want to avoid doing this unless you're trying to match the guides to the perspective in a scene. The vanishing point was already correct in this painting, but I've messed it up. Now if I draw something with this perspective, it doesn't match the perspective in the artwork. To match the guides to the perspective in this scene, we need to first move the horizon line to the horizon in the scene. If you cannot see the horizon in the scene, look for a perfectly horizontal line, like the one on the dresser or here on the plant. To align the vanishing point distances to the angles in the scene, I'll zoom in to where I can more easily see the handles on the guides. With my perspective guides tool selected, I'll drag one of the center squares of the primary guides onto a line in my composition that I know is aligned with the vanishing point. I'll center the guide right on one of the lines. Then I'll use the rotation handles to match the angle of the vanishing point. I'll be careful to align it perfectly with that edge because even a small offset will throw off the perspective. I'll need to do that on the other side as well. I'll use one of the lines on the window to align my guide. By pulling away toward the vanishing point, that tends to work best. I'll need to align the other primary guides as well. Once I have placed the guides, I'll ensure that everything lines up correctly by drawing some lines in perspective. If the perspective is still not aligned, then go back and adjust the guides to get them closer. Try moving the guides to different vanishing point lines to further calibrate them. You may need to do this several times. It can be difficult to match the guides to the scene perfectly, but you should be able to get it close enough to still keep things pretty much in perspective. Ideally, you'll set your perspective guides first before you ever do any painting. In that case, you don't have to worry too much about your guides becoming misaligned unless you accidentally move the guides. Fortunately, you can create custom perspective guide presets to ensure that you can always restore the position of the guides. The four default presets are a good starting place, but you will probably want to modify them for each painting. Set the guides, and then choose Add to save them as a preset. Perspective guide presets can only be saved with a painter riff file. The presets are not saved with your workspace, they are only saved with the document. To learn more about drawing in perspective, I have several YouTube tutorials and courses you can watch.